Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ansel Armstrong back again. And today we had a massive content drop here. And it will be the show 21. The finale of the fireworks, you could look at it. Really, the last major content drop that we're getting here in Diamond Dynasty for this year. It's been an incredible year of content, and they ended it off with a bang. So, in this video, we're gonna break down all the new content today. Take a look at all the team affinity. Take a look at the new collections as well. And we'll dab a little bit in the marketplace too if you're needing to make some stubs. Let's go ahead. Let's dive into it. Let's break all of everything down. First off at the gate, you can see we're already putting together the all finest squad. It's still coming together. We got a lot to do. Where you get these finest stuff will come over here in the programs. We got team affinity. Team affinity season five is here. If you've been playing over the show, you know how the team affinities work. You don't have to do one, two, or three to be able to get into season five. There has been some changes with season five. First off, we'll come in here. We'll look at the reward path. Reward path, relatively same for all of the divisions. So each division, as we come through here, is going to have a Field of Dreams pack, a Kitchen Sink pack, Home Run Derby, lots of Team Affinities, another Kitchen Sink, All-Star Game, tons of headliners, more Team Affinity packs, and some ballin' bundles at the end. And if you notice one big thing, this path goes to 300 Team Affinity program points. So instead of 150 or 100 like we've had in previous Team Affinity programs, this one is gonna go all the way to 300. So it is gonna take some time to get through. We will have a video coming out real soon going over the quickest way to complete this Team Affinity path because trust me, you are gonna wanna complete these as quickly as possible. Now, one thing to note though, even though it does go to 300, you do get the final team affinity finest choice back player. You do get that at 150. So that is the same as the previous team affinity pass, except for the one that we had to go to 100. So these going to 150 doesn't really make it more difficult to get the players, but just adds on some extra rewards at the end of the path, which is a really awesome dub. You can see you get to the path here. We're in the AL East, so we got our choice of Mount Castle. JD Martinez, Brandon Lau, Eric Cole, and then Marcus Simeon as well. Absolutely juice cars. We'll be having a finest rankings coming out here in the very near future as well. In terms of missions, you got all sorts of missions. And one big thing you will note with all of these, they are all repeatable this time around. So usually in the past, especially with these finest cars, you would be able to complete these one time and get your five points of progress. This time, whether we're hitting three home runs with Simeon or low or getting strikeouts with Garrett Cole, bases with JD Martinez, extra base hits with Mountcastle, these are all repeatable. You can complete these over and over and over again to get five every time. And then, of course, we have the 20 strikeouts online with ALEs and then 10 extra base hits online with ALEs, along with some overall hits online and then strikeouts and total bases with flashbacks and legends from those divisions then we have online and offline plate appearances and again those are all repeatable so you really will make some progress relatively quickly through the team affinity path and as always we have our moments conquest march to october collections and exchanges we'll go in these a little bit more detail in our video where we break down the fastest way to get through the program you definitely want to go fast because these team affinity cars are juiced I mean, for example, let's just come over here in L West. I mean, look at a guy like Tatis. 110, 116, 125, 125. Absolutely insane rewards. You're going to want to complete 255 fast. Trust me on that. Going to be some of the best cards in the entire game. A lot of packs from this, though. Tons of tons of packs plus headliners plus stubs they're at the point of the year where they are flooding us with packs into the market so really expect prices for a lot of things across the board to stay relatively low overall but there can definitely be some causes of upward mobility on the prices especially when we come over here we go to the collections and of course we have the brand new legends and flashbacks collection for ken griffey jr the milestone 500 home run club ken griffey jr 119 contact 108 contact and then 125 power uh, on versus right 121 versus left 99 fielding 85 speed ken griffey jr absolutely incredible you're definitely gonna want to go through and do these vouchers and get 
ken griffey jr and i will say a lot of prices still cheap on the market for example if we're needing something like six series cars i can come in here and a guy like francisco lindor we can take a look he's 87 000 subs right now we take a look at his marketplace trend just several days ago this is not long ago this is a couple days ago he was 335 000 subs on a buy now so if you're needing cars to come in and do these collections you need 46 for griffey to go along with that you need 60 milestone cards here 30 of the second half hero cards 40 of the prospects 22 prime cards honestly not as bad as i expected on that one uh really really surprised by that out of the awards we need 40 on the awards cards 125 tops now 60 monthly awards 30 on the future stars 50 for the rookies here 35 on our breakout cards our all-star cards we do need 60 of those quite a bit on that and then in veteran we need 50 so if you had based your numbers off of our collection video that we had done the other day and you were at those numbers these all ended up being a little bit south of what those predicted requirements for so honestly not too bad if you're prepared on that front definitely not easy you are going to need to collect a lot of cards but i promise you this if you're not there yet if you're not at griffey yet he will be obtainable you just got to keep going for it one card at a time especially with this team affinity it's going to give you a ton of subs so knock out your team affinity get some subs from that use that for some cards that you're needing for griffey and i promise you it will be obtainable easier than you know it not only though if we come in here not only did we get griffey we also got jimmy fox a milestone triple crown winner jimmy fox if you knew about jimmy fox last year he was one of if not the best catcher in the game he was personally my favorite catcher to use last year and it'll be the show 20. he's back he's got catcher secondary again 124 125 on the contact 122 119 on the power it's gonna be tough to top that he does have 72 fielding but he wasn't a great fielder last year and i personally never had many issues with him at the catcher position i really think if you're looking for a catcher jimmy fox could fill that hole anybody who played and then we the show 20 knows how nasty he was and you get him from collecting eight vouchers so eight vouchers is going to give you him you collect 16 that's going to give you king griffey jr and that 16 does allow you to skip once so you can see i don't have the finest voucher yet haven't locked that in and so i was able to skip that finest voucher also if you're still working to mo mookie kershaw whatever the finest also give you vouchers for that at 20 cards you get a mo voucher 30 you get a mookie voucher 40 you get a kershaw voucher and then at 45 you get your gravy voucher so if you're just picking up the game maybe getting back into it after some time you're still trying to make progress toward mookie or kershaw or griffey this is gonna help you do that as well allow you to get some more progress through that now in terms of the marketplace we do see some movement today here and there especially with some of these headliner cards for example right here we got a guy like andrew miller eighty-eight thousand on the buy now obviously much lower than his 140 that he was there for a while but he had dipped down to around 50,000 sub 50,000 on the sell nows. Now back up to a guy who's at 88,000 on the buy nows. Lots of six series. You can see Mad Bum up to 40, 54,000 stubs. Six series. If you have some duplicates of those, definitely not a bad idea to come in and sell some of those guys as we see a lot of these. I mean, Steven Strasburg here up to 57,000 subs. You can see the trend line on that six series ended up being one of the more difficult ones to obtain for the griffey voucher so a lot of big runs on six series cards another guy here like michael young right we can see a massive massive uptick in that evan longoria from the kitchen sink packs if you have been holding on to those up to fifty-seven thousand. so you got six series to sell now can be a really really good time to do that as we see a run on a lot of these big increase in the market there we also see that a little bit with some of our milestones as well for example matt kemp former inning boss if you had invested in him he had gotten it looks like right around forty thousand, up to seventy four thousand right now guy like Kerry wood right here right another headliner down to twenty six thousand on the sell now yesterday up to fifty four thousand on the buy now today a lot of rise in our milestones and six series guys as you needed quite a bit of those for the collection especially these headliners lots of rises 
in these headliners across the board. I like Yelich starting to rise up uh, just a little bit with how low he had gotten down into the 30s yesterday. We see him rising as well. And we see some climbs with headliners here in awards too. Guy like Alex Redman, right? 62K right now on the buy now. Yesterday, he was under 25K on the sell now. You could have been picking him up sub 25k yesterday up to 62 so would not recommend buying any of the of those card types right now unless you really really need some i would try to avoid those headliners but if you have duplicates to sell from anything you have been holding on to another guy manny machado uh had been under 16,000 now at 47,000 stubs if you had been holding any duplicates of these maybe you had opened any packs and had some of these definitely recommend coming in here offloading some of these awards cards sig series and milestones as we see those have pretty significant jump ups in price today overall definitely in the marketplace seeing some recovery from tuesday and thursday with those massive crashes we had from people selling to buy the finest packs we do see a recovery in that one of the most surprising things today though no finest packs in the reward path for team affinity definitely expect those to be filtered in in other places uh they'll allow us to get those finest packs more over time they'll throw those at us here and there but not in the reward path a little bit surprising on that front that is your breakdown for all the content today new team affinity new collection market going wild it's going crazy if you're looking to sell if you'd invested from those tuesday and thursday crashes a really good day to sell for the most part we're seeing that uptick happen as we expected it to with those crashes whenever there's a crash we always see those upticks a great time to sell it recoup some stubs go buy those final cards you need for some collections as always you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know who's going to be the first finest card you're adding to your squad from team affinity season five for me is tatis all the way but there are some insane ones out there let me know down in the comment section below until next time i'll catch y'all around